Hi all, I'm Arvind Panir. Today we're gonna see on some interesting facts on some of the key stocks like Reliance, ITC and Vodafone Idea. It's gonna be a very interesting video, so stay connected till end. Why does ITC and Vodafone Idea doesn't move at all along with some other stocks like ONGC or NTPC you might have seen and so on. Like It's always, uh, uh, we used to wonder, isn't it? Like what is happening really with these stocks? Uh, I'll explain you why. Some, uh, with some facts from history, then you will understand more clearly on that. And I also think Reliance will explode just like MRF. We'll show you some facts around that also. And you will understand for yourself uh, what will happen and how should you see it. So stay connected till end and don't miss any key points. Pay attention to each and every point. You're going to learn many new things uh, and uh, some you might already know, but it's going to be interesting, I promise you. And then... Uh, Let's not waste our time, let's start. Okay, first of all, if you're new to our channel, if you're not subscribed, do subscribe so you get all our videos like this on time. Okay, now uh, uninterrupted also, so you don't miss it like when you hit the bell icon, you get it on time also. Okay, now as we proceed with word of an idea, I'm starting with word of an idea, we know uh, some kind of uh, you know. Uh, a rights issue came you might be aware and of that case like many new shares came into market okay how does it impact i mean like uh, wh what is it relation i'll explain you why okay uh, normally say there was some group of people like 10 people holding 10 percent of the company holding okay when uh, these kind of dilution comes into market like a, a dilution of shares like um, when when much more shares come then their existing holding percentage reduces from um, say 10 to 5 that's what I say it reduces a bit like this and it's always have some impact on the shareholders so if you see here the, there is like 287 crore somewhere and in relation to that like uh, let me show you this figure Okay, so this is the post right issue. This is the same thing you see two eight seven three crores uh, like a uh, uh, so it's 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 a huge uh, you know amount of shares outstanding shares. Uh. So the 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 graph you see here it's the outstanding shares. So what is outstanding share is a is a complete number of shares that is available in market for trading. Okay, so as you see here, some key stocks are here, which are playing around with huge, um, you know, outstanding stocks uh, like ONJC, ITC, JL Infra. And if you go and look at the stocks price, it's much more manipulated, right? So I use the word manipulated and much more played around. So that's the key point And it's like contained for that particular reason. It's like, um, and if you look at the ITC also, if you do uh, intraday or something, whenever there is a peak, you see a selling. And whenever for what of idea also there is a peak you see a selling so that's how it's like manipulated and kept in that position because like that much shares are there okay and another classic example i wanted to give on itc itc uh, coming to this list it's not bad like because uh, like even uh, you know government uh, stocks are here how does these stocks come in here like how does their uh, thing increased you might wonder see what if I idea right issue came like company wanted in some uh, money and then um, they put it here like that's why there is an increase in shares but what happened to ITC they, they are cash cows and what happened to government you might think in the way see it's not just that it always depends on split also okay when a company does a split of shares so they basically introduce some new shares also and bonus also does that okay that's the drawbacks of those particular things when you bring in more shares okay that dilutes the value also like that dilutes a share and then um, there is much more volatility and much more in the same range you see us as far history teaches us like uh, that's what we see in these old stocks uh, of course sbi uh, sbi turned out to be like moving up but let's see uh, it doesn't uh, put the end story for these stocks. It will move, but um, there could be like some trends like a buyback and so on, which would, uh, you know, pull all these shares back from companies. Uh, so that's one thing I wanted to highlight. And then um, I also like talked about right, uh, rights issue. So we, we should not forget what happened in past. So that uh, puts much more like at that time, uh, people uh, highlighted also that is, it could much more dilute and it could create volatility. Yes, they were right. And this is what you should have in mind also in future when you see some uh, kind of um, uh, new stocks and then you see a right issue. Um, see, 
I do understand. I wanted to put you this um, thought process also into you. See, right issue. Why do they come with that? That's an easy process, right? So if they go with debt, okay, debt is something like um, they they go to banks or any anywhere to get some loans, okay, and then they want to pay them with the interest. This shared delusion is easy method. Okay, so look at the other method. It's like difficult and banks deny because they wanted some asset as a proof and so on, right? And um, and and normally, if you see uh, the fundraising of this current case, like they are again fundraising, and they are not able to, uh, like they don't want to dilute more, and then they are uh, looking for investors. Look uh, how hard it is right now, and that's why people like um, easily move forward. You know, right issue and this um. Uh, you know, fundraising method and so on. So, okay. Now, as we proceed. So, Reliance. Why am I uh, much more? Uh, now, uh, I hope you understood the complete picture on why this uh, fluctuations and the much more constrained in a price range. Now, you understand that. Okay. Now, as we proceed to the next chapter of Reliance. Reliance, like we know, it's a mammoth. Uh, can it be comp uh, compared with uh, MRF? Will it explode? That's a question. Okay. To my view, I think it will explode. Just you need patience. Okay. Just I'll give you some background. Okay. Uh, MRF before 10 years, like 2010 to 2020, for example. 2010, you see, it was trading at 8,000 rupees. And now you see it's trading at 8, uh, 80,000 rupees. And people at that particular time, they thought 8,000 is a big amount. Of course, we see Reliance also like, uh, ah, it's a very big amount. See, when the company has a capacity and capability like to explode, of course, there are much more opportunity to double like but it could move above that also. And uh, and coming to the other part, split and bonuses. Uh, OK, I wanted to highlight that also every 10 year their Reliance have done it. OK, the splits and bonuses, uh, if you look at here. So this is a history they have been doing around 10 years, I would say. So every 10 years um, in time frame, they have done these, uh, you know, uh, split and uh, split. They have not done much, but they have done um, in 2017 and 20, also 2009. They were very consistent in reducing because uh, I might put in a view that they it might be uh, the reason um, that new investors are coming in like um, and so on. But I don't think any like in future they would be doing it. I doubt that. Okay, that's a point make me think of in the future it could explode. Okay, and uh, look at the split history and bonus history of MRF. See, the simple reason um, you see MRF at 80,000 rupees is simply because they do not do any split or bonuses. They, uh, they, they do give bonuses, uh, a couple of bonuses they have given, but after that they have stopped and they, they don't care about like um, shareholders. They wanted to increase their company, uh, you know, uh, things and so on. So, uh, it's automatically increasing. They don't care about new investors coming in. And uh, the reason they do a split is to pull in new investors. Uh, but uh, MRF don't really care about that. Uh, and if you look at split, is, split history, there were no split history at all for um, MRF. Uh, that's also a reason I think uh, Reliance could be like this. Uh, and uh, see, this is just a starting of it. If you look at the monthly uh, you know, view of Reliance, this is what has happened. This is nothing, I would say. It's just a starting of the iceberg. But it would take some years, as I said. Uh, if you look at the MRF history also, every peak is just pushed to some consolidation and then it moves. Okay, So every peak forms after a consolidation. Okay, So that you have to understand. And the same strategy, I think, for Reliance also. Just, uh, you see, it, it doesn't matter how you earn the money. Okay, I talk about multiple stocks, and I'm not interested in talking about all the uh, stocks or lakh shares which are there. I don't want to talk about everything because uh, uh, when there is a way to earn, you could put in a right stock to earn, right? And uh, it doesn't mean you have to put on all the lakh shares and then you have to earn or like a. Uh, um, not like that strategy okay uh, like some build in a strategy that i put in 10 shares and uh, 10 shares in their multiple sectors so i re uh, reduce the risk that is bullshit okay so it doesn't help you uh, really and um, the strategy uh, like uh, sorry uh, i i would not uh, completely uh, i'm not complaining what they are doing but that is bullshit to me okay it's all about uh, you picking the right one and investing in them seeing the capability and so on uh, it might differ um, on how uh, people do that. Okay, so uh, that's how you should see. And uh, normally, uh, 
if you look at this particular stock, as I said, uh, MRF uh, has been moving nicely uh, like this. So, and the same thing uh, you would see in Reliance also. Okay. So, okay. And coming to, and and always I, I wanted to compare it with the foreign institutions, what they do at the back end. And foreign institutions are not that uh, uh, mad guys uh, or like idiotic guys. They don't um, invest on a non-running stock. They, of course, they see the capability and uh, uh, they invest in those stocks. Uh, look at MRF, uh, they have been increasing and Reliance, they have been increasing. So they we always see them as a base uh, to understand what they are thinking and uh, how they are investing and so on. So it's very important to look at them also just to see them uh, how that trend they are trying to create okay on a on a long run as i said this gonna multifold you uh, beautifully and when i say like um, investing in multiple stocks doesn't help uh, why what do you say at that uh, see uh, to me i simply look like in this way so if you are holding just two shares or three shares uh, it uh, it's okay still fine if you are holding 10 shares like 10 sh uh, in 10 shares Four stocks falls to uh, too too steep, and uh, four uh, rest uh, six stocks rise. Uh, and at the end, if you are like a um, uh, plus minus uh, coming to a neutral state uh, where um, there is no profit or gain, I, it's not an ideal situation. If you are making gain, if your strategy works, then it's good for you. But um, having multiple strategies in my past ten year, I have come to this conclusion that uh, I'll stick with one or two three stocks. Uh, it's fine with me. I'll not divide uh, just like a few. Uh, uh, analyst explain you like put it into 10 different stocks or uh, diversify your uh, like when the company itself is diversified i don't think it's a it's a need to do that okay okay that's all i wanted to highlight and uh, quick uh, hindi version for our uh, hindi colleagues bye have a video mein hum, uh, few key things ke mein wale hai, okay like uh, what of my idea and uh, itc q Upper movie nahi hota hai, just like ONJC and NTPC. Okay, now I'll explain facts ke explain karunga. and then I reliance explored hone ka aur bhi upar jane ka bhot sara chances hai, wo bhi aapko main dikhana chata hon with facts. Okay, so stay connected till end. Ek bhi points ko aap miss mat karo. Um, ye aap ke liye bhot sare new learnings ho sakte hai. So let's start. Okay, agar aap nahi ho is channel mein pehle baar dekh rahe ho. Please subscribe, karo, bell icon ke hit karo, so that you will get these SACN videos uninterrupted. Milenge, okay? And now we start. Karta hai. Pehle start karne ke pehle, I wanted to highlight this. Dekho. Uske pehle yaha dekho ke, number of shares 2873. This is Bloomberg uh, report. This is a snapshot. Okay? So, ये वोडाफोन आइडिया का राइट्स इश्यू के बाद का काउंट है ओके ये सारे क्रॉस में है एंड इसके वजह से इन सारे शेयर्स को देखोगे तो ये बहुत मैनिपुलेटेड एंड कंट्रोल्ड स्टॉक्स होते हैं ओके व्हाट डू आई मीन बाय दैट कि लाइक ये स्टॉक्स में इतना ऊपर लाइक बहुत ऊपर नहीं जाता सेम रेंज में घूमता रहता है क्यों ऐसा है ओके क्यों ऐसा है क्योंकि इतना नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स उस हमारे मार्केट में है देखो इतने क्रोस शेयर्स पड़े हैं देखो लाइक वोडाफोन आइडिया ने इतने शेयर क्यों लेकर आए क्योंकि पैसा उनको रेस करना था बैंक के पास जाना लाइक उनका फिजिबल सॉल्यूशन नहीं था उन्होंने न्याय सर्च लेकर आए इसलिए इतना आपको डाइल्यूटेड स्टॉक्स दिख रहा है एंड आईटीसी एंड गवर्नमेंट स्टॉक्स लाइक एनटीपीसी ओएनजीसी या एसबीआई ये क्यों दिख रहे हैं आपको क्योंकि वो भी स्प्लिट देते हैं या बोनस देते हैं शेयर होल्डर्स को इसलिए उसमें भी आपको राइस देखने के लिए मिल रहा है लाइक आई मीन लाइक इन द नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स ओके ये आपको समझना पड़ेगा एंड इसलिए नंबर of shares जब ज़्यादा होते हैं manipulation भी ज़्यादा होता है okay इसलिए आप complete frustration में होते हो कि like ये stock क्यों नहीं भाग रहा ये stock क्यों नहीं भाग रहा simple reason ये एक num you know number of stocks diluted like you know equities जो भी है ज़्यादा है in stocks में okay so number of I would say shares like the particular shares, just like like up the share or hundred shares, which you are holding, from this you will understand in simple language that there are so many shares in the market. This is a reason that is very manipulative. Okay, as simple as that. It is so simple you can understand. I think. And 
एंड यही रीजन है कि लाइक ये स्टॉक्स इतने इम्पैक्ट होते हैं एंड इससे बाहर आ सकते हैं क्या ऑफकोर्स बाहर आएंगे जब कंपनीज लाइक डिफरेंट स्ट्रैटेजीज लेकर आएंगे कि लाइक बोनस बोनस ये स्प्लिट को ये कंट्रोल कर कर लाइक बाई बैक या कुछ ऐसे फंड लेकर आते हैं बट जब कंपनी टर्न अराउंड होता है ऐसे डिफरेंट स्ट्रैटेजीज लेकर आएंगे लाइक तो आप शेयर होल्डर के लिए भी वैल्यू बनेगा ओके तो देखते हैं कैसे चलता है बट एक और पॉइंट पर आते हैं रिलायंस एक्सप्लोर होगा कि नहीं लाइक like, मेरे हिसाब से रिलायंस एक्सप्लोर होगा क्यों वाई अभी एक मेमोद कंपनी है ओके रिलायंस एंड उसने भी बहुत कम स्प्लिट्स एंड बोनस दिए हैं हाउ डज इट मैटर देखो लाइक like, दस साल में एक बार उन्होंने ये बोनस या स्प्लिट दिए हैं एंड एम आर एफ का देखोगे लाइक like, वो बहुत कम दिए हैं नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव में एक बार दिए हैं सेवेंटी में एक बार दिए हैं उतना ही है स्प्लिट तो उन्होंने कभी दिया ही नहीं है इसके यही एक मेन रीजन है स्टॉक इतना बड़ा रन होने के लिए ओके एंड रिलायंस भी लाइक like, एक मेमोद बन सकता है क्योंकि लाइक like, वो क्यों बोनस या ये सब दिए लाइक स्टार्टिंग में स्टार्टिंग में मेरा रीजन ये हो सकता है कि लाइक like, उनको बेसिकली नया इन्वेस्टर्स को अटैक करना है लाइक सो करंट प्राइस में वो दे नहीं सकते तो उनको स्प्लिट करके एक अट्रैक्टिव प्राइस में रखना है तो मेरे हिसाब से वो उन्होंने पहले किया होगा पर आई डोंट थिंक फ्यूचर में वो करेंगे सो uh, so, वो एक पर्टिकुलर रीजन है कि लाइक स्टॉक और भी ऊपर भाग सकता है देखो एक जो भी बड़ा रन होता है उससे थोड़ा करेक्शन नॉर्मल होते हैं जस्ट लाइक एम में भी देखोगे हर ये मंथली व्यू है ठीक है तो बड़े रन के बाद एक कंसोलिडेशन होता है फिर बड़ा रन लेता है ये नॉर्मल है आपने बिटकॉइन में भी देखा होगा ओके सिल्वर थिंग रिलेंस में भी होगा ये सिर्फ स्टार्टिंग है आप पैनिक मत हो एंड uh, uh, एक और फैक्ट आपको ले बोलता हूँ टू में एम आर का स्टॉक एट थाउजेंड रुपीज़ था टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी में उसका स्टॉक एटी एटी थाउजेंड रुपीज़ था ओके सो नॉर्मली क्या हुआ है लाइक जब लोग टू थाउजेंड टेन में देख रहे थे बोल रहे थे कि आह बहुत एक्सपेंसिव है अभी क्या है अभी भी बहुत एक्सपेंसिव है सो ऐसे कैन के चेंजेस आएंगे रिलायंस में भी आपको देखने में के लिए ओके सो अगर लाइक आप खुद अंदाजा लगा सकते हो कितने तक जा सकते हैं पर मेरे हिसाब से ऐसे इयरिंग स्टॉक्स बहुत सारे हैं ओके आपको डिजाइड कर कर लाइक ऐसे नहीं कि लाइक सारे इयरिंग स्टॉक्स को देख रहे हो सब में डाल कर रखकर वो एक अच्छा मेथड नहीं है एंड वो आई डोंट रिकमेंड डूइंग दैट ओके आपको अच्छे स्टॉक्स लो एंड कम स्टॉक्स रखो पोर्टफोलियो में ऐसा नहीं कि दस बीस स्टॉक्स के पोर्टफोलियो आपने बना कर रखा है एंड uh, उसमें पाँच टिक चल रहे हैं लाइक फिफ्टीन टिक से नहीं चल रहे या आप कमा रहे हो तो ओके okay है अगर आपका मॉडल टिक नहीं बन रहा है तो आपका मॉडल को आपको चेंज करना पड़ेगा ओके okay. तो ये मे बी दस साल से मैं डिफरेंट स्ट्रैटेजीज लगाता हूँ एंड कुछ जो भी मॉडल ठीक से काम नहीं करता मैं विद ईगोस्टिक उसको होल्ड नहीं करता ओके मैं उसको छोड़ देता हूँ एंड मेरे स्ट्रैटेजीज को चेंज करता हूँ सो so, वैसे ही मैं सजेस्ट करूँगा ओके okay? होप आपको समझ आया होगा अगर आपको कुछ क्वेश्चन है डाउट्स हैं फील फ्री टू लिव इट इन द कमेंट एंड अगर कुछ सजेशन है ना स्टॉक्स के ऊपर आप पूछो तो मैं उसके ऊपर भी वीडियो बनाऊँगा थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग कम्प्लीटली एंड अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा लगा होगा तो लाइक प्लीज लाइक करो एंड शेयर करो सो दैट दूसरों को भी ऐसे इन्फॉर्मेशन जाएंगे ओके एंड बहुत लोगों को बेनिफिट भी हो सकता है थैंक यू एक और वीडियो में मिलते हैं अंटिल देन टेक केयर बाय